Hey, what is going on, guys? It's Unlock5. Welcome back to another video. Now, today we are going to go over some leaks about Black Ops 4 and what they can actually mean about the game. So, I'm pretty sure you guys have all heard of the leaks about the perks and Treyarch tweeting about this. And a lot of you guys still don't get the memo that those leaks were fake about the Treyarch having Black Ops 4 aim to be more of a Overwatch type game. I did make a video about it in my speculations, but. I never really believed it, and I know people are going to be on that side of, oh yeah, I never really believed it because it turned out to be false, but I'm being honest with you guys, I never really believed it. So getting back to what I was saying, people were more on the side of, okay, Treyarch is posting these tweets due to the leaks, and no, the person had came out themselves and said that the leak was fake. So now I'm on the verge of saying, who should we trust? And I've been saying this also in my last video, if you watched it, I've been saying that Charlie Intel is not really a reliable source. They're like a news channel. They're like ABC News or whatever. They report on what they see on Call of Duty. And basically, Polygon and Charlie Intel source was this kid that everybody's making fun of who has a unibrow and poor vision. So in conclusion, there are only two sources that I trust. That is the developer, whoever is making the game, in this case, Treyarch, and Marcus Sellers. And you can ask me why I think Marcus Sellers is a reliable source. I mean, February, didn't he leak that the game was going to be Black Ops 4? Everybody was calling it COD 2018 until he came along and said that the game was going to be Black Ops 4. And then we had him saying that it would come out for the Switch. Now, it's still not May 17th. Hopefully, I get this video up before May 17th. But it's not May 17th yet. It's not the reveal. And everybody's saying that it's not going to be coming out for the Switch. We simply do not know yet. And just because Charlie Intel says that there's not going to be a Switch version of BO4. I'm sorry, what's the game called? Okay, Marcus Sellers. Marcus Sellers. He had originally posted that the game was going to be called Black Ops 4. And what did he say? What did he say? It's going to be a boots on the ground setting. Now, we're going to get to that later. But he originally posted that it was Black Ops 4. Then, then what happened? After he posted, about a few days afterwards, actually maybe two weeks afterwards, Eurogamer, an official news reporting site, had actually came out and said that it was going to be Black Ops 4 based off of various sources. Then what happened? In March, last time I said February, but in March, they came out with the Black Ops 4 reveal teaser. And what, what happened? People still don't believe Marcus Sellers. But guess what happened? About a day after Marcus Sellers had posted that the game was going to be called Black Ops 4 and that it was going to be coming out for the Switch. Guess what happened? Charlie Intel said... I'm tired of fake news or that they're tired. I don't know if it's they or one person. They said um, something along the lines of SMH, this fake news or whatever, referring to Marcus Sellers. I'm sorry, what's the game called? And by the time that they had pre-orders out, they didn't want to sound stupid. So they said, I guess the game isn't coming out for the Switch. Promise me one thing, guys. Promise me this. If Black Ops 4 does come out for the Switch any version of the switch you know please promise me that you will no longer trust in charlie intel when it comes to leaks please now if you don't know who a thoughts is i'm pretty sure we all do but if you don't i suggest you go check him out he even believes marcus sellers and i'm gonna tell you why now the kid with the unibrow i'm not sure if his name the kid who keeps spelling out conspiracy theories first of all marcus sellers had a deleted tweet or i remember him tweeting this out and he got hate for it so he deleted it people are saying oh you don't know anything but that's that's just unfair he said all he said was let's wait for may 17th to start rumors about black ops 4 and i was just reading through some of the comments and then some person tried to expose him by uh wanting to get together with the same kid who did the leaks you know because they're they're, they're both leakers, I guess, but he just wanted to get together. And then um, that same kid with the unibrow kind of exposed Marcus. And he was saying, oh, if you're calling my leaks fake, then why would you try to 
pair up with me or collab with me. I don't understand. It was fake. It was like not not even drama, but th there's this one person in the YouTube or not the YouTube, the comments, because um, when I think of comments, I think of YouTube. But there's one person in his Twitter comments that was just going off on him. So I think he deleted the tweet. But yeah, that's basically what he said. Let's just wait until May 17th to make up our minds about Black Ops 4. And he did include what he said in the original Black Ops 4 post that it will be boots on the ground. He went back to that. And since Marcus went back to the fact that he said that the game was going to be boots on the ground and then this unibrow kid had the fake leak, it's known that it's fake. He's confirmed that it's fake, that it was going to play more like Overwatch. And people still aren't trusting Marcus. Now, here's the final part of who to trust, okay? Marcus Sellers and Treyarch. And Marcus Sellers, again, has stated that there's going to be a boots on the ground game. Now, Treyarch themselves have posted out this tweet. What, what does this look like? What do these perks remind you of? Would you see a foot and a ladder if it were going to be a boots on the ground game? Yes, you would. Not an Overwatch themed game. And Marcus Sellers all along has said that this was going to be a boots on the ground game. And people are sitting here attacking him. And all, all because people believe kids with unibrows and Charlie Intel. So th that's just it for me. That, like, just please, guys, please focus and please, please remember that not everything you see is correct. And I could be wrong, but I mark my words. There will not be a battle royale for Black Ops 4 and there will be a campaign. I may be wrong, but mark my words still. All right, I love you all. I hope you guys have a good rest of your day, but just please remember who to trust. I'm telling you who I'm trusting, and just promise me, if Charlie Intel gets this Nintendo Switch Black Ops 4 thing wrong, then please do not trust them from now on. This will be the third time. The Modern Warfare 2 Remastered, that that was just fake. They're, I don't know what what you want me to say. They're, they're not like reputable sources. They just post on what they hear. They're like news sources. So hopefully, guys, again, enjoy the video. And I'm just worried about you guys. I want you guys to have a good intellect and a strong mind. And... Basically, what I'm saying with a strong mind is know who to trust. All right. I'll see you guys next time.